Well, good afternoon, everyone. I am Chief Al Thomas, Charlottesville Police Department. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for giving us an opportunity uh, to meet with you and, and answer questions. I do have some prepared remarks, and following the prepared statements, I would like to take time to answer questions that you may have as well. Before I begin, on behalf of every member of the Charlottesville Police Department, I want to take a moment to send our deepest condolences to the families of the three Virginia residents who lost their lives Saturday. As you know, Charlottesville resident Heather Heyer was struck down by a vehicle while exercising her peaceful right to speech. The city stated earlier that while it will never make up for the loss of a member of our community, we will pursue charges against the driver of the vehicle that caused her death and are confident justice will prevail. The Virginia State Police Lieutenant Cullen and Trooper Pilot Bates were working with the Charlottesville Police Department this past weekend to protect our community. These men also gave their lives in the line of duty and our gratitude to them cannot be overstated. Their loss is a loss for us all and we mourn with their families and colleagues. We are working with the higher family to ensure that the safety of vigils and other memorials uh, that are planned for this week are safe. We plan to keep the 4th Street crossover closed until further notice as there are thousands of flowers lining the street and that is the location of the crash site. We are also establishing a hotline for any victims or witnesses to contact local authorities and provide information that may not have been reported during the weekend. We understand it was a traumatic weekend for everyone. We are still receiving reports of assaults and additional crimes, and we're working with our state and local partners to investigate thoroughly any criminal or civil rights violations that may have occurred this past weekend that have not yet been reported. Throughout the, throughout the entire weekend, the Virginia State Police, Charlottesville Police Department, uh, intervened to break up fights and altercations among those in attendance at the rally site. This began on Friday night and continued through Sunday. The city tracked approximately 250 calls for service on Saturday alone. In many of the conflicts, individuals would strike and then disappear back in the crowd. State police medics rendered aid to approximately 36 in in injured individuals on Saturday, including several of the traffic crash victims on Water Street. The early morning hours on Saturday, Virginia State Police and Charlottesville Police were positioned in and around and across the street from Emancipation Park in order to readily observe and monitor the actions of the crowds and respond as quickly as possible when emergencies arose. There were also state and local police on foot patrols and at road closures um, at various locations throughout the parks so we could respond to emergencies occurring beyond the immediate area of Emancipation Park. Law enforcement were staged at McIntyre Park as well. You can see we had a very large footprint during this entire endeavor. Around 10 o'clock, the Unite the Right attendees began arriving and entering Emancipation Park. We had a plan to bring them in at the rear of the park. They had agreed to cooperate with the plan. Unfortunately, uh, they did not um, follow the plan. They began entering at different locations in and around the park and we had to quickly alter our plans to help facilitate that process. Other groups also began amassing along the street and in the park. Gradually the crowd sizes increased along with aggressiveness and hostility of attendees towards one another. Shortly before 11 a.m. individuals in the crowd began throwing objects and spraying chemical agents into the crowd. The city and county then made a declaration of local emergency. The crowd size became increasingly violent with mutually engaged combatants with one-on-one -on -one attacks following. An unlawful assembly was declared and the state police troopers began to safely move individuals out of the park and through the streets. Charlottesville police officers were originally on site in their everyday uniform. We were again hoping that the members of the alt-right rally would cooperate with our safety plan of ingress and egress. Once the violence began to erupt, we transitioned our officers into their protective equipment. We proceeded with an organized response to ensure that we could safely restore order in and around the park. 
No tear gas was deployed on Saturday by any law enforcement officers. There were a few incidents, incident, instances where the Virginia State Police deployed OC, or better known as pepper spray, on those individuals refusing to comply with the unlawful assembly declaration to leave Emancipation Park. And I would like to take a moment and open the floor to questions if you have any. Uh, I'm not sure that information is credible, but yes, we have heard those rumors as well. No one has contacted us directly um, concerning other um, demonstrations in and around the state. I'm not sure whether or not the 4th Street crossing was open. Um, I don't have the action plan with me currently. But I am certain that the uh, action plan called for this street to be closed. Well, this was a completely different event from the uh, rally on uh, July the 8th. Uh, the entire uh, option action plan was different. Uh, we did make attempts to keep the two sides separate. However, we can't control which side someone enters the park. We had agreements and worked out uh, a security plan to bring the groups in and separate uh, entrances. Again, they decided to um, change the plan and enter the park in different directions. We were certainly not intimidated um, by the firepower of the alt-right. However, it was prudent to make sure that officers were equipped to go out and deal directly with the violence at hand. Originally, we had our officers out in their everyday uniform. Uh, we were hoping for a peaceful event. We urged leaders from both sides to, to engage in a nonviolent demonstration. Once the violence erupted, once the plan was altered, uh, we had to quickly transition our officers into their protective gear. Once the unlawful assembly was declared, we requested the state police mobile field force to deploy in their right gear, and our officers took a position behind them at that point to guard their rear. No. Why did you intervene early? At the point that it turned violent, why didn't you guys go to the and why allow any protesters at that point? We did clear the park. Um, and we, we had a, we, once the crowds were dispersed, they went to many locations throughout the city. At that time, we had to uh, actually um, um, send our forces to multiple locations to deal with a number of disturbances um, in and around the downtown area. Uh, we were, it took probably an hour um, to gain control of the streets. We had groups that were moving constantly. Uh, we were following um, a number of groups, ensuring that they were being peaceful. Uh, but it, it, it was a challenge. It was certainly a challenge. We were spread then once the groups dispersed. Was there a decision to end it, though? To was there at any point a decision made or thought process to say, this might not be a good idea to let these people continue to march around these streets? knowing that these two sides were so agitated. Yes, we have to focus on behavior and criminal activity, not just citizens walking in our streets. Absolutely, I have regrets. We lost three lives this weekend. I have, I have, I certainly have regrets. We lost three lives this weekend. Uh, a local citizen, 
and two fellow officers. We certainly have regrets. It was a tragic, tragic weekend. I explain what our regrets are. We regret this tragic day. We regret that we had a tragic outcome and we lost lives. Chief, do you believe that, it's, hi, Chief, do you believe that one side was more responsible than another for instigating the violence? This was an alt-right rally. Do you believe that they're the ones who instigated the rally, uh, the, the fighting? Uh, we did have mutually combative um, individuals um, in the crowd. Uh, we try to be patient. We try to give um, the, the individuals in the crowd who wanted to leave, we wanted to make sure that they were able to leave safely. We facilitated that process. We had a number of individuals who chose to remain and, and cause violence, cause disturbances in our community. No, and I'd like to know who that officer is who allegedly made those remarks. That is simply not true. Folks, thank you so much for your time. Thanks, sir. Oh, sir, can I just ask one last question? What will you do differently next time, sir? 